Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as everyone is talking about how they found cocaine in the White House, this story just came up. And this is very important because it's actually starting to happen, and I've been warning about this for years. So we better get prepared right now because time is running out. Ex-top Chinese official says export curb on key metals is just the beginning. And this has nothing to do with just key metals, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, the United States, along with many other nations, are reliant on Chinese exports in order for us to have things that not are only like consumer items, like refrigerators, freezers, etc., but are things that actually involve national security for the United States of America. And not only that, but for the health of the United States citizens, i.e., we all know and we've talked about in the past how the U.S. is reliant mainly on China and India for its pharmaceuticals, mostly on China and then secondly on India. The problem is, is that India relies mainly on China for the imports of the ingredients that it uses to make the pharmaceuticals that we get from India. So you could almost say that we are relying about 80 to 90 percent mainly on pharmaceuticals from China. Now, if they are willing to take away or put restrictions on their exports of metals that we need in order to create those things that enhance our national security or keep up our national security. Do you think that they would not be willing to take away or stop their export to us of everything else that they deem they don't want to sell us anymore? I've been talking about this for a while and it's starting to happen now with this, but I'm sure that the list will expand, ladies and gentlemen. On Monday, China announced export controls on two rare earth metals, gallium and garmanium, all right, starting on August 1st. And these two metals are used in microchip production. On Wednesday, a former top Chinese official was quoted by the state media saying export controls on rare metals are just the beginning. Just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. Can you imagine if China stopped exporting to us our medicines that we needed or our antibiotics? I do believe that China exports to the United States, I think if not all, most of the antibiotics that we use here in the United States, ladies and gentlemen. Right. So let me put in a plug for my affiliate, uh, Contingency Medical. Right. Contingency Medical, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have your emergency antibiotics, go grab some emergency antibiotics. Link is in the description. There's a code where you can save, I think it's 10 bucks or something like that. But not even to save the 10 bucks, just because I believe that just like every family in the United States or every household ought to have a reverse osmosis system to clean their water, that every household ought to have at least a small generator in their home for backup with some gasoline or gas put aside for an emergency, I believe every family should also have a set of antibiotics just in case because you never know if something like this can happen next month with medication. And we're already going through a shortage of medications here in the United States. The decision to restrict the export of gallium and germanium or germanium would cause panic in certain countries, but also exert heavy pain in them, they say. This is just the beginning of China's countermeasures, and China's toolbox has many more types of measures available. I would say that that is a threat. If the high-tech restrictions on China becomes tougher in the future, China's countermeasures will also escalate. This is alarming because China controls the world's processing and refining of rare earth metals. So pretty much what they're saying here is, is expect some more to come, ladies and gentlemen. So are you going to wait until those things that you need, all right, that come from China or come from other countries that are not very friendly to us, who are still trading with us up to this date. And I have a longer based video coming out later on this afternoon uh, that will explain to you why it is even more important now that you get prepared. Because in the next six weeks, something's going to happen that is going to bring shock or could bring shock to your wallets or your purse or your pocketbook, whatever you call it. And ladies and gentlemen, it's very unfortunate that we find ourselves in this predicament, all right? And of course, they said this is just the beginning, but take a look at how much we actually mine ourselves in the United States. The United States, China's in red, obviously. The United States come in second place. The United States is blue right here. 
See the blue? This is the U.S. We're actually increasing our production of these metals for the last several years. Look at what it was here back in uh, 1617, 2016, 17, and between 05 and 10 or 12, we were doing nothing whatsoever. This is a major wake-up call that rare earth supply chains need to be rejiggered from Asia to elsewhere or even increase North American mining and refining capacity. Imagine that, increase North American mining and refining capacity. I'm not sure. Is our ESG score high enough where we can take a hit on our ESG score as a nation to do a little bit of mining here in the United States? Yes, I know I'm being sarcastic, but in the, in, in the same time, I'm being realistic, right? With this ESG bull crap that's taking over our corporations, and I would also say maybe even our government. Five years into a trade war, the weaponization of trade flows appears to be in full swing. I don't think it's in full swing. I think it's just the beginning. The announcement of the export controls came ahead of Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's visit to Beijing on Thursday and was timed to send the Biden administration a message. Everything is unraveling and it's getting put into place. We will have a new world here in the next decade or so. That is where I stand. I believe that around 2030, 2032 or so, we are going to have a new world. But don't be afraid. Get prepared. Stay prepared in every way that you possibly can, and you will make it through to the next paradigm. We can only hope and work towards a world where when we get to the other side, that we can say, A, good always prevails over evil. We're going to have some tough times ahead, but when we get over that hump, it's going to be springtime again, and we are going to be living our best lives. So just hang in there. Don't stop prepping. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and have hope. But remember, that hope by itself is not going to get you through. You may survive, but do you want to survive or do you want to thrive, right? That's what it's about. If you have to live a certain time on this earth, you might as well live the best life that you can on this earth instead of just surviving, merely, you know, irking out a living Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. I have a second video coming out later on today. Hopefully, you'll join in for that one. That one's going to be a very good video. That's going to be very informative. So make sure you have your coffee for that one because it's going to be a little longer than this one. God bless every one of you. God bless America. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out. I've partnered with Contingency Medical because they provide us the opportunity to purchase emergency medicines that include antibiotics. Just like having a good water filtration system in your home is paramount, I believe that having a set of personalized emergency medicines is just as important. With Contingency Medical, you can legally obtain prescription antibiotics that will be prescribed to you by a real doctor and filled by a real pharmacist in a real pharmacy. The process is very easy and only takes a few minutes. 